Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to bring you another little battle here. I have done a few of these now. I did one with the Kasori pressure cooker against the Instant Pot. I've also done one with their mini blender against the Magic Bullet, I believe it was. I will link all these videos below. Kasori recently released a new high-speed blender that they sent to me, and I had to put it to the test, guys. I have had my Vitamix now for about two years. We absolutely love it. I think it's one of the best on the market, and I think most people would agree. So when this came out, I was very intrigued but I'm like, okay, we got to put it to the test. Can it compete? Is it worth it? Because let me tell you, the price point difference on this is far different. <laughs> it really, really is. So I want to put it to the test. And as you can see here, just by looking at these, they're almost identical. And so even more so, it made me want to do this. So I'm going to be putting them to the test for you guys today and giving you my thoughts, my first impressions. Let's just do this. If you guys enjoy, please do give this a thumbs up. I do have this product linked below and I do have a coupon code for you guys if you want to check it out as well. Just a couple quick differences I did notice. The Vitamix does have a button to turn on to make the machine actually on even after it's plugged in. This one does not. And I noticed the blades are slightly different but pretty similar. And then also the Kasori one actually comes with this like travel to go container which is kind of cool too. I do not believe the Vitamix comes with anything extra if I remember correctly. That may have changed over the years but I don't believe it does. And I also noticed that the lids, uh, the the Vitamix one is a little bit more like the rubbery uh, lid and the Kasori one is a harder plastic. Aside from that, they are essentially identical. <laughs> now, I wanted to go ahead and start with making just a basic smoothie. And I'm just gonna leave a lot of this in real time when I first turned on these machines because I found it very interesting. So I turn on the Vitamix and I put it on the lowest setting. And then I turn on the Kasori one and not much is happening. And I start to turn it up not a whole lot's happening. So I try to do the tamper on it and then it starts to kind of come together. What I noticed from this right off the bat is it definitely needs to be turned up a lot more than the Vitamix does. That is one thing for sure. But then once I got it going, it was almost, to be honest, almost better. Now, one other quick difference I do want to point out, just to be fair, I only have the Vitamix container um, or the blender that has the like the wide pitcher, and the one I'm using for the Kasori one is more of the taller one. Although I got to tell you, I was excited. The one from Kasori actually does work on the Vitamix motor. Just saying. <laughs> but you'll see here that once I got it going. It was fantastic and almost better, really. Sometimes I will tell you the wide pitchers can kind of work against you and you'll see that on the next recipe too. So the tall, thin ones are actually a little bit better maybe? I don't know. I've, I've not really gotten to play with one before, but I kind of liked it more from what I was seeing from what I was testing. But you'll see here at the end of it, it was pretty comparable. They came out to be pretty much the same consistency even. But this truly was the very first thing I did make in this blender and I would just say that my first impression is that the Vitamix is still a little bit more powerful but in the end, still comparable. So to me, I was trying to think of all these different recipes that I wanted to make just to show the differences, but here's the thing. I think if you put raw cashews that have not been soaked into a blender, there's your test. <laughs> that is your true ultimate test. You don't need to do anything more in my opinion. <laughs> so what I did here is I'm actually making like a pretty well-known vegan cheese sauce. And this is very, very basic recipe. Again, I just wanted to do it for the sake of doing this and it is raw cashews. I did not pre-soak them. Yes, I did add hot water because that's just how I make the sauce, but I did not do uh, pre-soaked cashews in this. And in the matter of like literally 30 seconds, it came together. And why this was such a big test really is usually it will be very, very grainy if you do not have a high speed blender. 
Now, not only was it not grainy, almost like within 30 seconds, guys, seriously, but also you'll see here, the tall picture was working very much to my advantage. I did put the same measurements in each one. And this is where I was talking about that sometimes the wide, um, wide one can actually be kind of hard to work with depending on what it is you're making. Now, I did just go ahead and add a little bit more hot water to the uh, Vitamix one and it came together for me because otherwise that's what I'm talking about. It comes out grainy, which is not the consistency you're going for when you're trying to make a really, really smooth sauce. Again, these were completely raw cashews, not soaked. And I'm telling you the Kasori killed it. It was good. It was really, really good. Um, I also try to show you here a little bit just to really show you how smooth it really was. Sometimes it's hard to really show and portray what it, what it actually looks like on camera, but you'll see it is super, super smooth. And again, this was less than a minute for the whole thing. And I did again, put a little bit more water into the Vitamix one. That's why it's a little bit uh, more into it, but that is it guys. Like really, I just feel like it is comparable. I really do. But again, it's not to say I don't love my Vitamix. I absolutely love my Vitamix and I will still continue to use it. But I just think for the price point, we're talking like a $300 difference here, guys. I mean, it, it works. The Kasori is great. I really love so many of their products. I don't think I've had one negative review on any of them, truly. And I love sharing these with you guys. So I hope this was helpful. I know a lot of you are in the market for a high speed blender and not really sure which route to go. And personally, I think you're gonna be in good hands if you go the Kasori route and save your buck, you know? I, of course, just wanna thank you guys so, so much for always watching and being here with us. I greatly appreciate each of you and I hope this review was helpful for you as well. Hope you guys have a great, great day and I will see you guys very, very soon.